Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in the Year 2021. We are on day 318, and we're reading through Matthew 28 and Mark 16, and this will mark the end for Matthew and, and Mark. Um, I don't know. I don't think any of us have been in the situation that the... Um, the disciples, the many disciples, not just the 12, but the, the, everybody, including the, the women uh, were in, where um, they were so reliant upon Jesus. They were so counting on him that uh, he was the king. He was supposed to usher in um, the next kingdom uh, in Israel, reestablish Israel as far as they were concerned, according to, to prophecies. And they misunderstood um, the end of days prophecy compared to the suffering servant prophecy. Regardless, their hope was was in the grave, and the and the women come out to do um, what they were not able to do on the day of his death, and that's to, to prepare his body. And um, they arrive, and he's not there. Could you imagine the shock? Going home, you, you've been told that he, he's no longer there. Um, he has risen. You've been told that. But on the way home, there is the one that you've given your entire life to, that you've dedicated yourself to, that you thought you had lost and he was gone. See, I don't think, I don't think we can possibly get there and imagine what that must have been like. But they grab hold of him. Um, there's there's different encounters that he has at, at different uh, points in time, and and all of it is 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 like disbelief. It's just um, not disbelief, maybe in the sense of um, uh, they can't believe he he could do this, uh, but disbelief in in that they had gone through such such depths of despair, and and then suddenly that despair is removed all at once. So there's kind of this disbelief, like, how can this be? But it was. And the outpouring of affection that, that we see, uh, even later with, with Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas gets a bad rap. I mean, the one time the guy says, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. And who could blame him? They, they've come up with this story about Jesus rising from the dead. And they have included in about the scriptures, the prophecies, and all that sort of stuff. Yet they're fishermen. Come on now, and and they go to him and they they say, yeah, it's it's like this. This is this is what's happened. And it's like, yeah, I'll I'll believe it when I see it. And he goes a little bit further. He says, I'll believe it when I you know I I see the nail prints and when I can put my hand in his his wound on, on the side. Um, <laughs> And then, and then there's Jesus. And Jesus was well aware of the conversation and, and, and says, there you go. Go ahead. Put your, and he just drops to his knees. And, my Lord, my God. Just the, the emotion, the relief. This is real. This is true. It really has happened. Um, I don't know. Uh, sometimes I, I think we're afraid to allow this kind of relationship to provoke that kind of um, uh, depth of emotions in us. So sometimes we think that emotions are our enemy. Uh, and emotions are only our enemy when we let them reign over us. But emotions definitely have a place in, in our walk with Christ, in, in our involvement with each other. Um, are the emotions of... Like the empathy, where we can we can feel each other's pain, the depth of that pain, um, you know, and the, the 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 victories that we're supposed to celebrate with each other, the, those highs and those lows and the in betweens, that the the emotion of friendship that we have with each other, and, and you know, as as COVID um, has diminished enough for us to gather into places, the emotion of us coming together, it's okay to say like I, this is. You know, um, and sometimes, sometimes um, emotion can catch us off guard where somebody is, has received just some shocking news and, and you find yourself 
um, with with this weeping that's happening because you're you're feeling that pain, and and, and it's okay, it's okay. So th these these disciples had those emotions of of despair, um, not to the point of killing themselves like Judas, but just like. What are we to do? Just a confusion. And then the height of, of that victory of receiving Jesus back. Man, it's okay to have emotions in, in your faith. They take us to those highs and the lows when we need to go to those places. Just don't let them have control of you. Okay, so you guys be blessed today. Be encouraged. And uh, we will catch up with each other tomorrow. God bless.